What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How is everybody doing out there in fish tank land? Today I want to give you guys a little bit of an update of this fish laboratory build and just a little update of everything going on in the fish house. Okay, so I'm here in my office. I'm still working on things. You can see that my desk is still getting put together. I'm working on a couple other projects, which is keeping me from uh, building out the desk. But, um, you know, really my office is the last priority right for me because the fish are really coming first. But, um, you know, so it's a mess in here. It's a complete mess in here. I got this really cool picture that Amber hooked me up with. It's, um, I believe it's some kind of... Uh, uh, it's a skeleton of whatever kind of fish that is. Uh, bir birch? Is that a barch? Birch? I don't know. In German? I believe that's German. But that's a really cool, cool uh, picture. I'm going to put that up uh, on one of the walls here somewhere. Uh, but I'm still getting stuff together. Uh, I'll have to be honest, notes has become really important lately. Uh, you know, really with all the tanks going on here. Um, notes, notes, notes. Keeping track of everything going on and what's going on with all the fish. and. Uh, so that's been a big learning experience for me for sure but um, let's make our way downstairs and I'll show you some things look at the Python this is this is the life in this house uh, it's not normally how it is but we've been uh, doing a lot of water changes so uh, it's right there pothos the pothos along the stairs like always um, everybody's happy down here in the basement I mean basement what am I talking about everybody's happy down here in the living room I showed you guys this little spot. This is such my favorite little spot. I really like this. It's hard for me to not want to just like hang out here in this spot with you guys and just like chill. Um, but yeah, the cichlids, there was a little, some of them had, so you know, we, we lost a few fish. Um, definitely some learning experiences with that and I would like to put out some content about that and, and talk about it uh, in, in some future live streams and stuff like that. Just get into detail about what went down there. But um, everything is going good, and um, we've been working really, really hard. Amber is out in the garden right now working on the backyard. I want to show you uh, what she's got going on in the backyard. But first, I want to show you guys uh, a little bit of the, uh, you know, the build out with the lab. So let's make our way downstairs, and we'll go check out the lab. Uh, let's see. Let's go check it out. Make our way downstairs. I love what she did. I've shown you guys this before, but the the net rack um, uh, we got a uh, there's a lot missing right now because we've been working hard. But uh, they're all getting sterilized right out and dried, and then this will get filled right back up pretty quickly. Um, so things are totally different from the last thing. The last time I showed this to you, I had uh, the cabinet doors on the floor here. Half of it wasn't painted yet. Uh, I still have supplies out right now. But um, this is uh, basically how it's going to go down. I have my laminar flow hood that I'm working on in the garage. I'm going to show that to you guys here just in a little bit. Uh, but it's going to go right in the space where a stove would be in the vent, you know, uh, for that. And so there'll be a laminar flow hood, which is a clean space for working on plant tissue culture cloning. Um, obviously, this is a laboratory for the fish uh, breeding that we're going to be doing and taking care of the fish as well as medications but I'll also be using this as the true clean space in the house, the cleanest space in, our, in, in, in all of our projects for working on stuff. So I have my microscope, finally put it together. It's sitting here. Um, it's gonna get put away when I don't need it because the hood will be here. I got a lot of cool stuff that just came in uh, in the mail. We have um, hydrochloric acid, sodium, uh, hi, um, so what is it? sodium um, hydroxide, and uh, different hormones here, and uh, and gelling agents and whatnot for plant tissue culture cloning. Um, this is also some preservatives, plant preservatives and whatnot. I'm really excited about this stuff. I got a little goofy Amazon dissection kit just to help me. I have some other lab equipment just to kind of uh, add some extra little pieces and parts so that uh, it just to, I don't have to worry about anything. Um, so yeah, I was doing some dishes, so it is a little bit dirty in here, just some, some glassware, but this is going to be nice. So I can take you guys upstairs and show you uh, the laminar flow hood in the process. I'm building that out. I'm almost done with that. Uh, the next room that I'm going to be working on, you guys will get a glimpse at, at is going to be uh, the uh, what we call the utility room, but that's going to be our shipping department, and we're going to have a couple of uh, species and groups of fish with live bears and whatnot are going to be in that room. So we'll get on that. Another thing I mentioned to you guys before uh, is 
Uh, there's there's something uh, there's something living under the stairs, um, but you know I haven't been able to get into that with you guys. But we're gonna have to talk about what's going on under the stairs, and I have to get into that. But I will save that until later. Let's go upstairs, and I want to go outside into the garage, and I want to show you guys. I'm working on this laminar flow hood. Is the technical term for it? It's a grow. I mean, I'm sorry. It's a um, it's a uh, clean space for working on. Uh, on, on, on specimens and stuff like that for any lab space. I was gonna have the garage door closed for this and I forgot to do that. So the neighbors are gonna see me playing with the camera. Oh boy. So anyways, this is just what I'm working on. It's a nice little, my my handiwork, a little bit of halfway decent carpentry. But um, it's nice, I finally got my tools in the mail so I had a chance to start working on something. Um, but really, I'm gonna get into how this thing works down the line but basically it's just like a uh, think of it like an under gravel filter so there's gonna be another another tray right here with holes in it perforated and the air will get pulled down through that it'll get sucked back around come up through there's another piece the hood that goes on top here and a HEPA filter here and it will recirculate pure air into this space and there'll be a plexiglass uh, uh, you know sneeze guard here that will protect that airspace, and that's where you can work in a completely sterile airspace. So, um, I, I, you know, I've always wanted to build one of these. I've always wanted to do tissue culture cloning, and this is going to be really, really fun. And you know, it's really awesome to be working with uh, some really cool aquatic plants for aquariums. It really excites me. Uh, so let's go outside in the backyard. There's a little bit of a mess. You see all the fish tanks over here. You see all the fish tanks over here. That's. <laughs> We'll, we'll get, that's all have to make their way downstairs to the grow out room eventually once we get to that phase but in the backyard here you guys have seen a little bit of stuff of the backyard amber just finished cutting the grass she's over there working in one of the gardens we'll go over there and talk to her but let me just go step outside here and show you some of this so look at the color i love the color that she's got on these garden beds this turquoise is looking really 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 nice it's gonna be nice when we get a get it all finished. Hello, how are you? Sweaty. What you up to? Sweaty? Dirty. Look at all those weeds in yeah. that barrel. Oh, You're kicking I'm butt, trying. huh? Trying. I found a thistle patch a few minutes ago. Though. Thistle? Yeah. That's not fun. Yeah. What oh, and the sirens no, too. Thistle. Cool. So what's up with these tubs over here behind each of the... <laughs> behind the the garden bed. Those are gonna be our tubs for summer tubbing. I can't hear you. <laughs> Those are gonna be our tubs for summer tubbing. Um, we're probably gonna do what? Live bears and danios, you think? Live bears, danios, yeah, different live bears. You might want to try a type of raspora just because. Maybe, yeah, raspora, some kind of a tetra, maybe, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Um, Why not? We've got enough of them. So in the end, we've got nine raised beds back here. I'm sorry, yeah, nine raised beds, and then you've got, we're going to have nine, and those are 300? Uh, eight. No, no 300 no, we're gonna gallons. Have eight, and those are 100. I'm sorry, 100 gallons. There'll be eight of them. Yeah. Because we just got that tree right there, so it's going to make it a little awkward. Worm so bin. Be, come again? We're going to do, a, well, I want to do a worm bin for our household compost, <coughs> and because worms are really good for gardens. So composting for the back, we a little compost spot right there, probably. Yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> and then on the other side of the yard here, we got these, we got the beer tubs. For now, we're just letting them cycle, but we got beer tubs over here on the back side of the house here. Just got some guppy, sorry, some duckweed going on in them. But we've got more coming. Amber wants to put some more down the line here a little bit so that we can... Uh, just do a little grow out. We can also do a little bit of like selective breeding. Put a couple, of, you know, some trios of guppies in, in one, and just let them do their thing for a little while. So that's kind of fun as well. This place came with somebody had had some nice flowers, so they kind of got a little out of control. But we're gonna, gonna tighten it all up and get it all together. But I love the color on those garden beds. It's just a nice turquoise. It, it turns it turned out really nice and then there's some other plans you got some other plans for the backyard but we'll surprise everybody with that as it starts to come up out of the ground I mean we're gonna we're also gonna do four um, 20 gallon concrete casting or mixing tubs along there 
and then like lettuce in the palettes. Should be good once I actually get it all done. And then this space, it won't happen until next year, but that space is gonna have something really, really, really cool. Very cool. <laughs> Alrighty, well I'll let you do your thing. I will let you do your thing. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get to it. I'm trying to finish up this project in the garage so that I can really get onto my desk because I really want to finish my desk. I have the wood in there to do that, but and stuff that I've collected from around the neighborhood. People give away stuff and put stuff on the side of the road for free, so that's been fun. So I'll get on that in the future as well, but thank you guys so much. I'm going to keep you guys updated on everything uh, in do some more content once we get this uh, get this place a little bit more settled and organized. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all of you that subscribe, like, comment on all my content. It means the world to me. And remember, guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.